Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. That's me right there. Here today to talk to you about student feedback using the Google Classroom mobile app. This is my Chromebook. It works on any device that can access the Google Classroom mobile app. Now, first, I wanted you to notice I have two apps here in my shelf. This one brings me to Classroom on the web. Notice there's a little Google Chrome logo, and this brings me to the mobile app. Let's look at this one first. If I click, if you notice, it takes me to my Google Classroom website, okay? Today, we're talking about the mobile app, which has additional enhanced features. So let's click this. Notice there is no Chrome logo there. And this is the Google Classroom mobile app. Notice it definitely looks different. This is an Android app, it is not a website. If I click on a class and let me find an assignment to give some students some feedback for. And I'll choose a student. And if I click on their assignment, it brings up their document. This is a Google Doc. Notice the editing pencil. If I access that editing pencil, a PDF will be created. And I have here all these editing tools. So this is just a straight up marker. And so is this one. This one though right here is a highlighter. And so what I can do is I can use this and maybe let's not use red, right? Red is not a good thing to give feedback with. But anyway, I can jot and mark this up. But the other thing I can do is I can use my keyboard right on the document. Now, how does this document save? Because this is not Google Docs. If I click the save little hard drive disk right there, it will be added to the assignment as a PDF. And every time I do that, the same thing will occur. I can have multiple PDF edits. So that's really cool. Let me show you one other cool function with that. So if I go to an assignment where I have asked students to work on or create an image, I can also annotate on top of their image. So here's an image. I asked students to draw their rendition of a perfect day using Google Keep or AutoDraw. And so I can now use the editing pencil and now I can give some feedback as well. And again, I can type on there. And again, I click the save. And what happens is there's another image that I have annotated on top of. It saves as a PNG as well. This works in for Google Docs. It works on images. It does not work in Google Drawings. When I've done this in Google Drawings, it just opens up Google Drawings in the web version. But anyway, it's really nice to have these different ways to give feedback. And we do it using the Google Classroom mobile app. If you have any questions about this, Please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.